Again, Kay's play with double arm suplex coming up if he can do it. But, but Rigby goes down this time on the knees to avoid it. You'll never get that right arm shoulder blade down. You must know it, even with a punch to the stomach. Only once has Kay been caught with that punch, but you've got a public warning for in round two. But he's delivered so many of them. Well, a tremendous, uh, the interesting preliminary contest here at the city called Guildford. It's a second public warning. And of course the final public warning and Ringo gets back, I'm afraid, angry again. He's really had enough of these uh, rule bending tricks nicely on the monkey child. Again the monkey child. the pressure points to the side of the neck now. Rigby going over that, but forearm okay. But that is not okay. Two public warnings against him, you wouldn't think he'd risk that now. Attempted monkey climb and it's neat move by Kay throwing him over the top. I don't know if that was illegal or not, but at least it got him out of the way, saved the monkey climb. The question is, how's Ringo Rigby? No count, so it was illegal move that put Rigby out. Max Ward is not counting. And he's trawling through to the, get the Boston Crab, and he's got the Boston Crab, and he can take it, no problem. In fact, he even might... Oh, he's got a submission. Oh, pity. What a pity. So near the ropes, just before the end of the bell for end of round three, and a submission to Kay in the third round. The Boston Crabby got on, but he was so near the ropes that one thought that he might, Rigby might get on. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has disallowed the Ah, good. Now I understand. <laughs> I thought he was too near the ropes, that, that Boston Crab. This is the round, so we go ahead with round four and still no score. Just two public warnings against Kay, trying to body slam this man out of existence now. So still no score despite that submission we thought from the Boston crowd. Again, the K double arm suplex and into the bottom rope, the back of the legs. It often causes you more trouble than it looks. Nicely. If he can get him off the ropes, he could have him in trouble here. And he finally made it. And over the top, double leg Nelson. He's got it. So just one minute, 14 seconds into round four. Rigby, the first pinfall over Kay, despite that near thing by Kay in the last round. John Harris to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, round four. The first four of the contest. 
goes to Ringo Rusu. There's a neat fall and he got it. But his stamina is going to count in the long run. There's no question. This good looking fellow from Birmingham. Kay, on the other hand, in the other corner, beefing at everything as usual, complaining, but it won't help him now. Two rounds to go. He's got to really show some wrestling skill against this man, Rigby, now. He's trailing by one fall and a pile driver by Kay. Right at the beginning of round five. Oh, no. That could slow Rigby down quite a bit. There's two public warnings against him, remember? He hasn't got any more to play with. Yes, low drop kick coming off the ropes, very near in. Trying it again, no, this time over the top, and ooh, giving it 2-0 if he gets it, if he can hold it, he's got 2-0, he's made it. Exactly 59 seconds into round five, Rigby gets the second and winning fall over Peter Kay, a 2-0 win. For Rigby in round five. By two clear holes, the winner, Ringo Rippey.